all right hello and welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to my channel so for those of you who are new my name is christiane otherwise known here as i heart airbrush and today we're going to be diving into some temp 2 so i have here the temp 2 air we got the 2.0 and we're just going to go ahead and dive into a full face look using temp 2s so if you're interested in seeing how i created this beautiful soft glam look using temp 2 system and temp 2 airbrush makeup then please keep on watching All right, so <laughs> as you know from the intro and the thumbnail, we're gonna be diving into some Temp 2 today. That's full face. So I'm gonna be using the Temp 2 Air as well as the Temp 2 2.0 Compressor with the SP40 airbrush, which is a single action airbrush. So let's just go ahead and dive into the look. So I already went ahead and put down Urban Decay's Primer Potion on the lids to go ahead and help the SB um, stick to the lids because it can kind of move around. I do have really oily lids. And then to prep the face, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my Scandinavia Bridal Makeup Setting Spray and just kind of apply it all over. Let that sink in real nice. I have a fan. Why not just use the fan? Mmm, so relaxing. Okay, so now that my face is all set, I'm gonna go in with the MAC Paint Pot in the shade Soft Ochre, just to go ahead and neutralize the discoloration on my lids. I'm just gonna take just a little bit, because I do have quite a bit of discoloration on the lid so we just want to kind of especially toward this inner part here and then like right here that way things don't look extra tinted all right so blend that out a little bit better as you can see my eyelids are super dried in comparison to the rest of my face so i have to be extra careful using too much products there can kind of emphasize all that texture there so i'm just using just a little bit all right, so next I'm just gonna go ahead and prep the skin using my Temp2 Air, and this is the Air Glow Primer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a light layer of this all over the skin. Okay, so while that is setting in place, I'm gonna go in with the shadow. And for the shadow, I am going to be using my traditional airbrush. Because I just like it, I'm used to this way of applying airbrush makeup, and I feel like using the traditional airbrush is, gives you a little bit finer of a mist in comparison to using the AirPod Pro. I can get a little bit more control using this, so I'm going to go ahead and go in with my SP40. So for this, I'm going to do a voiceover. Because I am using the 2.0 compressor, it can be a little bit loud, louder than the other <laughs> systems that I use here on my channel. So I'm going to go ahead and show you... As you can see, it's a little loud, so I'm just going to go ahead and do a voiceover for the parts where I am using the 2.0 compressor. So let's just go ahead and get into it. All right, so first I'm taking Heatherstone, and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to the transition crease area. Just staying light on the lever so that it can get a nice wash of color there because this is the blended shade. You want to make sure to stay light and then use the air to dry. Next, I'm going to go in with graphite just to add some depth to the outer corner, outer V. And then I'm also going to blend this into the natural fold of my eyelid. Once again, you want to make sure to stay nice and light. And here I'm just defining the outer V using a stencil like so, so I can get a nice sharp edge. But you definitely want to stay nice and light and build up in light layers. That way everything sets down and nothing creases. Then, of course, clean the tip of your airbrush. Trust me. It'll help. <laughs> then I'm going to go in with Sunset Glow and I'm just going to take that all over the lid like so. Just applying it light and then using the air to dry in between passes. This shade is so beautiful. Okay, next I'm going to do brows and for that I'm taking three different shades to go ahead and get my perfect brow shade. So I mixed Heatherstone, Graphite, and SB Black. And I'm just going to go ahead and continue to fill in my brows like so. I fill in my brows the same way no matter what product that I'm using, be it SB, water-based, no matter what brand, it's always the same just because this is the way that I've always done it. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the inner edge of the stencil because I'm more comfortable doing that. Sometimes I will use the outer edge, but most of the time it's the inner edge of the stencil because this one kind of fits the shape I want. 
And then I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly fill the front of the brow. Super quick and super easy. So for eyeliner, I am gonna be using a water-based makeup. So this is Dynair's Jet Black. So I will be using that. This is the only other airbrush brand product that I will be using just because my eyes are really sensitive. And silicone base and liner don't really kind of go together because you don't want it getting in the eye. So water-based is the best option in my opinion. So I am gonna go ahead and go in with this. I am still going to be using my Temp2 2.0 compressor, but because I have a Quick Connect with a male Quick Connect attachment, I can take the airbrush off that I was using for silicone-based makeup and swap it with an airbrush that is meant for water-based airbrush makeup. So here I have the Ket 0.25 millimeter airbrush that I'm just gonna go ahead and attach to the Temp2 2.0 compressor. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and do my liner like so. All right, so I'm gonna take a couple of drops of Jet Black and then the Cat Eye and Stencil that I got from Dynair. And I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in the liner like so. Surprisingly, this way has not changed either. I've always filled in my eyeliner like this. I don't think it'll ever change because this is the easiest for me. So I'm just gonna smoke out the outer corner of the lower lash line and liner is complete. All right, and there you have it. The eyes and the brows are all complete. And now let's go ahead and go into complexion. So I'm gonna start with concealing the under eye area and here I'm just using NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade M2 Ginger and just blending that out like so. Then I'm gonna go in with Salmon. It is a perfect canvas color corrector and I'm just gonna go ahead and correct a little bit of the darker pigmentation that I have on my skin. And then I'm gonna be taking the green color corrector from the perfect canvas line and I'm just gonna go ahead and diffuse out some of the redness. I have quite a bit of redness these days so I have to diffuse it up. If you stay nice and light, you can diffuse it really easily without seeing it through the foundation. Then to touch up those spots, I'm gonna take the same concealer I used for the under eye area and just diffuse the spots even more. That way everything's nice and even before I go in with foundation. Okay, now for foundation, I'm using the Perfect Canvas Shade 7 Desert and I'm just applying my foundation like so. As you can see, everything is nice, beautiful, and even. Okay, now that that's done, I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure to fan the face so that everything is nice and set before I move to the next step, which is the Time 2 Air. So here I'm taking the AirPod Perfect Canvas shade in caramel, and I'm just prepping the pod and then popping it in. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and use this as my bronzer shade. I do like layering up the shades, especially with the AirPods, because I feel like it gives me the most natural finish. It adds that nice dimension. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this to all the areas that I would normally bronze my face. Just to give me a slight sun-kissed look. Even though I'm not getting any sun right now. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and pop it off and make sure to apply the little plug back close it up and then make sure to clean the tip so that way it's all ready for the next time I need to use it. I definitely recommend getting into the habit of doing this. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Air Shadow Shade Tiger's Eye and I'm just gonna go ahead and use that as a contour shade. So I'm just applying it to go ahead and chisel out the cheekbones and then also carve out the nose a little bit. I'll also apply a little bit to the chin, jawline and a little bit down the neck as well. Next, I'm going in with the AirPod Pro. So first things first, you have to prep it by adding a little bit of SB Cleaner and then pulling the loop in the back like so. That's gonna prep your pod. Then you can go ahead and pop it in and make sure to spray out the excess cleaner. Okay, now I'm going to go in with Perfect Canvas Blush Shade True Blush. I'm just gonna add a few drops to the AirPod Pro and then apply the blush in circular motions just to add that nice flush back to the skin brings life, makes you look youthful. <laughs> I'm gonna apply it over the nose and the cheekbones just for the most natural blush. Okay, so now that blush is complete, we're gonna go in with highlighter and here I'm taking Perfect Canvas Highlighter Champagne and I'm just applying my highlighter to the high points of my cheeks, of course. And we're just gonna highlight the whole face. So once I'm done with the cheekbones, we're gonna go on the bridge of the nose. I am gonna pop some on the cupid's bow, some on the tear duct. I'm gonna dust a little bit on the brow bone as well, just very carefully so I don't mess up the brows. And then I'm also going to take some on the neck and chest, which you will see. 
But I always gotta add some more to the cheekbones before we do that. <laughs> then I'm gonna pop on some mascara. Just like so. No falsies today. Just mascara. And then I'm gonna go in with lips. And for the lips, I decided to go with Dose of Colors Gloss in the shade Almond Butter. Because I felt like it matched this look very well. There's a little juice to the lips. And then I'm going to go in with setting spray in my Temp2 AirPod Pro, just pumping a couple of pumps in there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and spray it on like so. I like spraying it through the airbrush because I feel like you get a nice finer mist as opposed to using the spray bottles. And then I'm just going to go ahead and fan that all down so that it's dry and set and ready to go. All right, and this is the finished look. I absolutely love how it turned out. Sunset Glow is so beautiful on the lid. It really gave it a nice springy, like summery kind of pop. I absolutely love it. The skin is nice and soft. Definitely my skin, but better vibes. This whole look really embodies the kind of look that I'm going for nowadays. You know, my skin, but better, soft glam, you know, natural, beautiful, just kind of enhancing what you already have. That's really the look that I'm going for these days. So I hope you guys are enjoying these kind of tutorials i know it's a little different from most of the other makeup tutorials that you see online not just because it's full face airbrush but because it is a little bit more on the natural side so i hope you guys are enjoying this i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you found it entertaining as well as learned a little something from watching if you did please make sure to give it a big thumbs up it helps me out a ton sharing this video also helps so if you do have the platform for it please go ahead and share this video i would greatly appreciate it and as always make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you're not already subscribed and if you are subscribed or if you choose to subscribe today don't forget to hit that bell icon and turn on your notifications that way you can see more videos from me popping up in your feed all right loves thank you so much again for watching and i hope to see you all in my next one bye